everyone. Today I'm going to be deep cleaning and giving a review on the Dyson Cyclone V10 Absolute. I've had this for about five years now. Um, so all that means our dogs are almost five. We got the pet one for when we got Scout. And so pros and cons to this vacuum, um, not sponsored. I just vacuumed the whole house. It took me about 30 minutes. I did not run out of battery. It's cordless. I did hit the max. You could see all the dirt and dog hair. That is crazy. Okay, this is one of my favorite parts about this vacuum is that you get to actually see all the dirt and dog hair. Wow. This is every couple days too. It's crazy. Um, but yeah. Better for the environment. It's nice that it's not cordless. We have two flights of stairs in this home and so up and down the stairs all the time makes it really nice and just all around. Um, the only thing that I don't care for is that after a while my hand starts to hurt, the like the thumb, I guess it's kind of actually red, yeah. My thumb's a little red um, and just like holding it down. That's the only thing I don't like, I wish there could be like a little click over button to like hold it down for you. But then I also feel like they do that for like safety reasons and whatnot. But the wall mount's really nice. We have it in a closet, just slide it right on in. And then to undo it, clip out, done. I'll show you how easy it is to dump it into the trash can. So this red thing, you just push all the way down. And then there's still a little bit left, so I just do it twice. Sometimes I have to reach my hand in there to get it out. There's a few little pieces. But yeah, it's still kind of gross. That's why I want to clean it. It's not super loud, so that's nice, but my dog still hates it. At the end of the day, I do recommend this vacuum. Um, we have a shark. Growing up, we had another type. I mean, there's so much, there's so many little things, but at the end of the day, like, does it do its job? It does its job. It works, it's nice. I would buy another Dyson. Um, also, got this at Costco. They had a good deal. And then you can return it if you need to, but we've been happy. It's been five years, it's still going strong. Haven't had any major problems. Knock on wood, now that I'm talking about it. Um, and what I really want to get to, I just got this screwdriver that I'm excited and nervous. Hopefully it fits. There's this part. I'll show you down here. Okay. Oh, it's not too heavy either. I mean, it's heavy enough. I mean, it's a vacuum, but it's not too bad. When you're taking this roller apart i'm not the most graceful vacuumer i guess i got some baseboard paint so taking it apart you start here with this guy actually yes 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 and what i realized if you're end of your knife or fork is too small or too big you have to find something that's exactly one was too small and it messed up okay the knife's too big i think i used a fork last time okay yep the fork works good there's a little divot right here so i'll print with the fork there's a little divot right here this needs to go back into there. And it kind of feels like it's not gonna go sometimes. There we go. The first couple times it feels like you're gonna break it. You unhook this. This part right here slides out. You can barely see my arrow on my, the vacuum because I've hit the baseboard so many times. This slides out. Then this 
comes out. Hairs, it's, they're caught everywhere, everywhere. I just cleaned this one like a month ago too. So this one's not as bad as it was. It was like black and brown. You cannot see the color through. This was horrid, but then this is when I discovered my next problem. So now that you have this end cap off, you can take this guy off as well. Wash him right here. This is it. Do you see all these hairs? All in here. Cannot get any of those out because of these little screws. And we did not, look at all that dirt just in everything. Ugh. Um, so I had to go get the right screwdriver. There's also a screw right here on the side where that one piece came off the hole. Look at all that in there. It's crazy. I had to go find the right screwdriver. Let me get you in focus, I'm sorry. And I had to go get the Torque 650, I think this is it. I hope this is right. I, had to, I got this at Ace Hardware. So we'll see if this gets the job done. Because we did not have the tiny star I'm nervous. I hope this works. Please, because it was the smallest one they had. Oh my gosh, it does. Stop it. Wait, do I get to clean my vacuum? Okay. Yay, vacuum. Yay. Oh my gosh. This is... not Oh. Sweet. That was clean too. I did not shred anything. If there are any marks that look like shredding, it was from me last time trying to use stuff that was not proper. Okay, where am I gonna put these so I don't lose them? Maybe right there. Okay, this is so exciting. Never thought I'd be so excited for a screwdriver. Okay. Next. I mean, to have to move hair to even get to it, it's time to deep clean the vacuum. And then this right here, this is, and this is a different size. It's interesting that they would do four smaller ones, and but this was easy to get out. I forgot what I used last time. I think I just used a Phillips and it worked, but here we go. And then, yeah, that looks, that's just completely different than all the other four. I'll set that in a different spot so I don't... Now I don't really know how this is going to come apart. Push and pull. Oh. Woo! Y'all. Yes. Oh. Is it screwed? Right here. Am I going to know how to put all this back together? I sure hope so. Okay, let's keep that down here. I'm starting to get a little frustrated. This side looks different. This side doesn't have the casing all around. This side does have the plastic all the way around. So like this side does not pop off like this side. don't want to break it you know okay I'm officially stuck at this point I was able to clean this section 
like I wanted. Do not worry, I am going to wash that fork like no other and these mats. Um, I'm gonna take a break from this and come clean this. I'm gonna get all the other um, vacuum products. I am not going to take apart this one until the other one is completely put back together. Recently cleaned the hairs off this so it's not too bad. Like that's disgusting. Would love to be able to actually see the brush. So this is um, the carpet one. And the, it has like an extra like movie majig. It, this is actually my least favorite thing out of the whole entire vacuum. This like extra movie. It's so floppy. You pick it up and it's like flops everywhere. It's like, it's a mess. And then this. Okay. Oh. That goes to that. This guy's great. Um, little hairs and whatnot. Clean all the fuzzies out of this. Love to use this smooth one on the padded headboard or like the dining room chairs, anything that's more delicate that needs um, a little bit of a clean as well. And then sides of the bed, the car, you know, the cup holders, all that kind of stuff, long skinny. Wow, that's a lot more dirty than I thought. Can you see in there? And then, what? I had two of these? We have two of these. Okay. And then the fuzzy brushes. I use them, they're good. I mean, given we have a dog, there's dog hair. So yeah, to clean these would be nice. This one has cobwebs. I don't use that one very much. But yeah. Wow. Oh gosh. The dirt, the dirt and fuzzies inside these. All the, these bristles are soft. These are more coarse, soft. So yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine attachments. And they all, you don't have to use the extender you can just plug it right in to that guy and call it a day so that's also really nice to have the different um dimensions there we go there we go right off the top this one pulls out this way Is that why I struggled so hard? It's that dirty? My goodness.
Well, I finally got this main piece put back together. For some reason, this last back screw gave me a hard time. I'm not sure what happened with, um, with that, but I've been wiping down and getting inside all the nooks and crannies that I can't put into the sink and just trying to make it look as good as possible. And I'm gonna be doing that on all the pieces now. I have a majority back here drying. So that little arrow always sticks out. And that's how you, you just push that down and let's go the little lock mechanism it has on it. My last thing to clean is the inside of this. So just took the top of this off and a couple little clips ago, and then this just slides right out. And then I'm going to be able to rinse this in the sink, and then I'm going to get a paper towel and try to slide back here to get everything out. I'm not gonna unscrew everything. That got a little dicey on some of the other stuff. And um, some moisture got into some like seals. I got m most of it out working on the rest. So, progress. A lot of this I've done before and some of it I haven't. So, that's why you see the confusion. That just looks so much better, right, than that half? Or can you not even tell? This hair back here, do you see all that back in here? Oh, that's like dried on hard dirt. Let's see what this would do. Oh yeah. Packs dirt. Okay, well I think that is as clean as I'm gonna get everything before I break anything or anything like that. There's already the one seal. I'm gonna stop where I'm ahead. The one screw, not that I'm not handy, but you have to learn. I'm learning. So, um, oh, I did not rinse this. Okay, now I think I'm officially done. Ugh. I'm definitely a two-day project like I mentioned at the beginning of the video make sure you vacuum your house before you do this because your vacuum will be out of commission everything's still so wet like you know, it's not gonna be able to go back until like tomorrow or maybe the next day fingers crossed tomorrow the weather's dry so it should be able to um go back sooner than later and I was able to unscrew the seal heel here to get that cleaned with that little, same little screwdriver that worked earlier. Um, yeah, there's a few little moisture sections over here. I'm gonna mess with this with a paper towel. Yeah, I can open it and get it done. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, but yeah, now we'll see if I can put it back together. Oh, guys, I was so nervous. I'm able to take the ring off that I got all the liquid stuck in. I thought I ruined the vacuum, but um, I'm able to take it off, slip it out, 
to lean it and all is all is well all is well do not panic just take your time Oh, gross again, but hey, we deep clean, y'all. Deep clean. Officially done until tomorrow. All the worries are fixed. There's like one little spot that has water. Fingers crossed, we'll be fine and good. If not, I can figure it out later. But I think we're good. One thing that's weird is that this isn't coming out like see it's kind of foggy and this is like you can see it's clear on the bottom i can't get this clear but i guess that's like dirt over the years that's just like stuck in the plastic but that is what it is i guess thanks for watching the vacuum deep clean chat with me if you have any questions at all just Put them down below and I will answer them the best to my ability. And here is the furry guy the vacuum's for. He doesn't want to be on camera.